In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your Canon Max FI GX6021 all-in-one printer. It's a very good printer for a small office or for the home. You can use it for wireless printing, scanning, copy. It has an ADF tray that means you can scan or copy pages using the ADF tray. It can hold 50 pages in that. It can do automatic two-sided printing. It has a large display panel. Paper tray can hold up to 250 pages. It can print 24 black pages per minute or 15.5 color pages per minute. It comes with the four ink bottles, ink number 26, 6000 black pages and 14000 color pages with the ink that is supplied with the printer. Let's do the unboxing. It comes with the power cable, manual, ink bottles are there, so you can take all the four ink bottles out, lift your printer, remove the protective tape. Remove this tape as well, let it go up and it will close itself. This printer comes with the four ink bottles you can see here and also a manual and a power cable. You can see the display panel is quite large and we have some buttons on that. You can position it according to yourself. It also has a USB slot here so you can just use it to print photos or scan to the USB. Let's do the setup. Plug in the power cable, switch on the printer, press the power button, go to the display panel, select your language, confirm it, select the date, select the time, start print setup, press ok. Next step is to load the ink. Lift this section from here and it will hold itself. We have to install the ink here. You can start from here or you can also start from the black. Open this cap. Place it here. Take the ink bottle out. Close this cap, press it down, once the ink is filled in you just have to close it and lock this. Let's start with the yellow, place it here, once it is completely filled in you can take it out. Close this cap, open next, open this, place it here, once it's filled in take it out, close it, go to the last, Once it is filled in, take it out. Close this and lock the chamber. Lift it up and it will close itself. Load the paper tray. You can take the paper tray out from here. That's the cassette paper tray. Slide it. Adjust the size. Place letter size or, or A4 size, plain paper and close this section. Paper output tray is here. Click OK to start the alignment. We already installed the paper, so click OK. Click on the next. 
click next you can click on the agree with terms and conditions or you can click on the do not agree click next printer setup is complete we are ready to copy click next you can connect your printer with the smartphone or your laptop press ok you will see the main screen of your printer and we are ready to copy next step is to do the wireless setup so that we can use it for wireless printing and scanning to connect the printer with the home or office wi-fi network you can click on the wireless icon or you can click on the setting icon device setting lan setting wi-fi wi-fi setup manual connect Select your Wi-Fi network from this list, enter its password, press OK to apply the password. Printer is connected to the wireless router, press OK, click on the home button. You will see the signal is available on the main screen. Next step is to add this printer in a smartphone laptop or macbook for wireless printing and scanning i'm just going to use my smartphone you can use an iphone or android phone for that go to the canon print app you can download this app from the app store in this app we have to add the printer so click on the add switch register printer Select Canon GX6000 series. Close. You can start you can start using it to print photos. You can close this window. Close this as well. You will see the printer on the top of the screen and it displays Canon GX6000 series. You can start using it for printing and scanning. Let's do the printing first. Select any document. You can also print photos with it. Click next. We have to adjust the paper size. Click no and then go to the change setting. Select print with paper that is set up on the printer. Go back. You can also change the number of copies and then click on the print. Next step is to do the scanning. You can use the ADF tray to scan multiple pages. Place the pages here. Go to the app. Go to the main screen and click on the scan. If you want to make any changes, click on the change setting. You can select the document type if you want color or black scan, letter size. Once you are ready, click on the scan icon. Scan is done. On the next screen, you will see the scan is available. Both pages are here. If you want, you can save it or you can share it. If you want to do the copy, you can use the ADF tray for that. You can place the pages here for the copy. Go to the printer display panel. Click on the copy. If you want to change the number of copies, you can select from here. For example, two. And any changes you want to make, you can go to the setting and then click on the black or color.
So we just did the copy, print and scan. For copy you can also use the scanner bed and even for the scanning you can use that. That's the complete setup of this printer and we are ready to use it for wireless printing, scanning, using different devices. If you want to know how to add this printer in a MacBook or laptop or if you want to use it just with the USB cable, you can watch my other videos on this printer. Thanks for watching.